Hi, this is a quick review of the Cree XL L2 U3 flashlight. As you can see here, this flashlight is made out of complete metal. It feels really nice and have a nice weight in the hand. This part here is where the battery resides. It takes an 18650 battery, and I'll show you that in a minute. But outside here, you have really, it's all metal construction, nice little handle, and over here you have the company that was made for Faraday. Just go right ahead. Here you have the heat sink to dissipate some of that uh, LED heat. And up top here you have the LED itself, as you can see now. One small LED and it's very bright. Let me show you what it looks like. So I'm roughly about two feet away from the wall. I'll give you an idea here. It has a really big beam. And as you can see here, the concentration is right in the middle. It's very bright. And as you go further and further, the beam does get bigger and bigger. And uh, about 15, 20 feet away, it has a really nice pan. You can disassemble this flashlight out in two ways. Uh, number one is take out this end here for the battery. And the only weird thing I want to point out when I open this up is that the battery is actually installed a little bit backward. You can see here, here's the end like that. And uh, and there you got a spring-loaded mechanism, so you would think that this end will go in, but it's actually the positive terminal. So the positive go into the spring-loaded, and then the flat end here goes into here. So that's one way to open this guy. The other way is you can turn this, and as you open this, so when you open this other end up, you get access to this uh, spring-loaded mechanism, and in there, behind there is the LED. As far as the rest of the unit, you can actually open it by turning this here. It's a uh, pretty tiny, but you can open this up and I get access to the lens. And inside, you can also get access to the LED, I believe. And there's the lens. It's make out glass. There's your little projector, and you can pull this apart. And then at the bottom there is the LED. And I guess in order to replace this whole unit, you have to replace this and this chamber together because I don't see a way to easily remove this LED. As you can see here, around the connector here, you have uh, this gasket to seal the flashlight, so your flashlight can handle water with no issues. After you close everything up on both end here, the battery compartment and the switch cannot get uh, water in there. The only thing is that this end here, where the glass is, you can feel it's a little bit loose and tight all the way already, and this does not have any seal at all, so water might get in here. Uh, so far I haven't had any issues with it, but I haven't submerged the flashlight yet, so I do not know that. Of all these flashlights make our metal and it's really nice. You can, uh, it will take some abuse. The lens is glass, so you gotta be careful. If you drop it somehow straight onto the glass, you're gonna crack it. Other than that, everything works really well, and uh, the light uh, on one battery lasts quite a long. Hope your short little review helped you in your budget decision. If you have any questions, please let me know in the comment below. And as always, stay tuned for future review. Thank you.